What's going on? We back with another installment and edition of Who Got Next. And it's my young homie, Bantamweight, Joseph Lenardos. Um, You know, he's pro over there in Mexico. He's from Riverside, California. And um, he's looking big these days. Seeing him on ES News, um, doing a little promo with them, interview as well. Um, you know, when, you know, he's a good fighter, you know. Young guy will be turning pro in the United States next February. So he's 17 right now. Got about got a little ways to go, but he be getting those pro fights over there in Mexico. 13 and 0, 13 and knock, knockouts, and um, a, a cool person, man. Um, you guys might see me with his shirt on. I always wear his shirts in my videos. But when I go live, it's the gray shirt, WBC on the side, his face on there, man. He's always doing charitable events. He's doing things with WBC. Trying to get his name synonymous with the public and synonymous with some in boxers, some of boxing biggest um, names, sanctioned belt bodies, uh, in, you know the whole nine. Um, you know his team reached out to me before, sent me a shirt, so I definitely, even before that, always supported the grind. Another young brother on my, uh, uh, I know on social media, grinding for the Olympics as well. So I know a lot of young up and coming amateur guys just for being in the box community on social media and. Fortunately enough, I was able to come across Joseph, and um, like I said, he's working. It's always room to get better. Um, he's going to be making his way to the States next year. He's doing what David Benavidez did, done, was turn pro over in Mexico at 16, get some fights without the head gear on, and come to America and be ready, all right? Um, you know, and he's a, he, he's a uh, good fighter, man. You know what I'm saying? He got a... Uh, you know, good speed. You know, we understand to go to the body. Um, he punched it with some thunder as well. You know, 13, 13 stoppages out of 13 fights. That's always good to know. And uh, he coming from California. So, you know, you got a good um, backing from Cali. You know, good backing from fighting in Mexico. And, um, you know, eventually he will step up the competition. Right now he's young. Devin Haney done the same thing. You know, I think he turned pro over in Mexico as well. So he was doing the same thing, getting those rounds in. And um, ain't no experience like real pro experience with eight ounce gloves on. If you below, if you forty seven and below, and um, like I said, man, he he looked good. You know, he's working on technique. Um, you know, working off the jab. And then when you see somebody fundamentally sound in most of his videos, which I'll link his YouTube uh video into the description, so you can see some of the work that he getting in, and some of the fights he putting in. Um, as well, you can see him working up up and down. And I told another one of my homies, which, you know, I'm going to spotlight him as well, um, that I see him working up and down. And I told him as well, and his pops, I said, man, that's that's a veteran that's a veteran trick to the trade. You know what I'm saying? Always going to that body and working up and down and, and, and punching with accuracy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, Joseph Leonardo, he does that as well. You know, he's a body, he's a body snatcher. And that's something that I would tell him that you never want to give up. You know, you always want to always go to the body. Um, and, you know, he's looking good, man. He physically, these days, he's looking a lot bigger than that, man. Um, so he's growing, he's getting stronger, dedicated to the craft, still going to school, boxing. Last time I seen him and heard from him. Um, so, uh, you know, I just want to put the spotlight on as many play, uh, fighters as possible. Um, you know, Mexican, we done done Mexican, black fighters, we done Australian fighters, we done done fighters from, uh, from Brazil, I believe. We've done some regular WBA champions, prospects, um, ban away. So I want to be able to to put you guys on game with some of these fighters before their name actually pop. And some of these fighters that's already out here paying their dues and pay their dues, I want to get them that opportunity to for you guys to be some, you know, get to know them, and um, you know, for them to have an opportunity to get synonymous with boxing. So you say, oh, man, yeah, I seen him on a boxing clinic, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm already up on game. So I want y'all to be up on game with some of the brightest young talent in the game, you know. And Joseph, you know, is some is some of the brightest young talent there. It's a lot of them there, and we gotta find them and get the, get the notoriety to the guys that deserve it. That's working and that's putting that work in. And he, he putting the work in, man. You know, if you stopping everybody that you fight, it's a few guys that he fought in this day they, they debut, but he fought some other guys with some uh, winning records and some solid records. At the end of the day, you know, he's a he's a kid, you know, a teenager. Still sparring, you know, uh, pro pro style fighters, other teenagers, other adult grown men, 
And, um, you know, some guys choose to take the amateur route and some other people don't. You know, a lot of guys have an amateur style uh, in in the am have a, excuse me, professional styles in the amateurs. And um, it doesn't translate, you know, just because you're a great amateur don't mean you're going to be a great professional. Some guys already know that their style is more um, versed for the professional. So they choose to go professional first. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Terrence Crawford was another guy that said, you know what, I was a, I always had a pro style, you know, and that's, you know, might be one of the reasons why he was overlooked, you know, you know, that's why, you know, he had a professional style and, you know, in the amateurs, you look to score, you no know, matter what the type of, how much heat you're putting on, on, on the fighter, body, body shots really don't count more head shots. So, you know, you can tell for Joseph, you know, he already got a pro game, you know, putting water in the basement, very aggressive power puncher. You know, accurate up and down, good head and foot, good head and foot movement, um, and continue to stay working. So you can tell the reason why he went um, on pro because he had a pro style and it wasn't really versed for the amateurs. And he gonna continue to develop. So, like I said, I'm gonna link his Insta, I have link his face. I mean, excuse me, his, uh, <laughs> his YouTube in the description. I'm gonna link it there. Check out some of the footage. They got all his fights, I believe, right around chronological order as well but don't forget the boston clinic and more make sure you subscribe here go subscribe to joseph channel as well he's a very very good guy he got a good team behind him and always doing charitable efforts as well but we on facebook instagram twitter those links are in the description also if you're interested into our college sports page with college football basketball and some high school in there as well the links in the description s12 team college sports most wanted uh you know so continue to subscribe you know if you haven't share the video share 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 and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another Who Got Next video with another young prospect some have heard of or you might not have heard of. So shine the spotlight on these young guys and, um, you know, doing our due diligence in boxing to get them up there. Y'all know where to go. Is yes, we gone.